Welcome. Uh, in our pre previous lecture, we built a basic model in Smart PLS. And we started discussing about the measurement model in which we establish the reliability and validity of the constructs. Mainly the reliability and validity. There are other things as well, which we'll be discussing in our uh, coming lectures. Now, before going into detail as to how you assess the reliability and validity output in Smart PLS, it's worth noting that we should discuss what is reliability and what is validity and how these two are different from each other. So what is reliability? Reliability is the consistency of your measurement instrument, the degree to which an instrument measures the same way each time it is used under the same condition with the same subjects. Now, as, as you might have noticed in our previous examples, uh, example, we had this scale CSR, corporate social responsibility, and the other scale, organizational performance. Now, if we give this scale to similar respondents in a similar condition, by condition, we could mean that they, their job nature or their job design hasn't changed. By condition, we could mean that they are still working in the same, same, same organization on a similar pay. So their perception about CSR won't change if they fill that particular scale or if they fill that particular questionnaire or that particular measure is being used. So that particular measure that we have used won't change under the same condition and with the same subjects. It will yield similar results. So this is what reliability means when you are conducting a survey-based research. However, let's simplify it. So reliability is, for instance, let's say if you've got a scale and you put on some apples on it, and if they measure one kg, let's say after some time you put the apples back over the scale again, they should still measure the same, that is one kg because the apples haven't changed and the scale hasn't changed. So your scale should give similar results or similar output. How hot the meat is. So a meat thermometer will give you similar results if meat is being, obviously is being heated for a certain amount of time or how much the orange juice is in a, a measuring cup unless or until obviously the conditions and change and it's, it's shifted from a room to uh, maybe a balcony where the sun is out. So the, might, the, 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 um, the amount of orange juice might change or how tall the wall is. So the yard scale is thick, would give you the same results unless or until you change the yard stick and it starts giving you the wrong results because it might be uh, a faulty yard stick. So, Imagine that you are using a ruler to measure a book. So the book will be of the same size, no matter what happens, even if you measure it after years, the size of the book won't change if you use the same ruler over and over again on the same book. So you, will, you are getting these consistent results. So your ruler is consistent. Your scale is consistent. Your measuring cup is consistent. Your yardstick is consistent. So your, your measuring instrument under the same condition with the same subjects that you are applying your measure on is giving you the same results. So this means that your measuring scale, your instrument is consistent. But, or for instance, uh, a wall clock. So the wall clock reads 615. If nothing changes, if time stands still, will the clock still say the same thing? Yes, it's very reliable. Whatever happens, it shows 615. But now there is a problem. Is this valid? So another example could be a weighing machine. You're standing on the weighing machine and it weighs 80 kg. What if your son stands on it? He's six years old. So it gives same 80 kg. Again, if your wife stands on it, 80 kg, and that could be a catastrophe. Uh, if your daughter stands on it, 80 kg. If an elephant stands on it, 80 kg. It's giving 
consistent results. So it should, it, it should be reliable, but is it valid? So that's the question. So this makes us uh, say that reliability and validity are two different things. So what is validity? Validity asks if an instrument measures what it is supposed to measure. So if a weighing machine is not actually measuring weight and because it's giving you wrong results, so it's not doing what it is supposed to do. So it's not valid. A wall clock showing the same time in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. So it's not measuring what is it is supposed to measure. So the instruments are very reliable, but they are not reporting consistently, but they are actually, sorry, reporting too consistently, but they are not measuring what they are supposed to measure. So they are not valid. So an instrument must be both reliable and valid. So an instrument, if it's valid, it is obviously reliable. But if, it's, if an instrument is reliable, this does not mean that it is valid as well. So every instrument can be evaluated on two dimensions, reliability and validity. Reliability is the consistency under the same condition with the same subjects. Validity is whether under the same conditions with the similar subjects, it is actually measuring what it is intended to measure. So if it's not measuring what it intends to measure, it is not valid. Now in smart PLS, in smart PLS, we, Actually, when we did our model, we tried to assess the reliability and validity of our scale. Now, this is how we did it. So if we see cron batches alpha and composite reliability, these are two ways through which we can assess reliability, whether or not our scale will give us consistent results. So in order to do this, we can have two methods we can have cron batch alpha and composite reliability now cron batch alpha it's an it's an old technique that has been used previously still it's it is used but now uh, with modern scm techniques it is obviously recommended to use composite reliability which is calculated based on the factor loadings the higher the uh, the, the number of items the higher the reliability so in this case we've got the reliability 0.877 green OP is 0 0.922, which is also green. When, when this is green, it means that, okay, both of them are reliable and it should be greater than 0 0.70. So both of them are greater than 0 0.70. So the reliability or consistency of the results is not a problem. The problem is AVE for CSR. In our next lecture, we'll focus on how do we calculate AVE, average variance extracted, and how we can work on to improve average variance extracted. Thank you.